Hi and welcome back. Today on our How To Project, we're talking about an RV Essential, installing a new toilet with the help of Bill Garen. Bill, this is an RV Essential right here, isn't it? This, yeah, this is the main ingredient here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're showing the folks how to upgrade from a plastic to a china toilet. You can find out more about this at rvtips.tv. And we want to show them the essentials or the components here of our project, starting out with this guy right here, which is uh, uh, a product from Dometic, isn't it? Right. This is, of course, the main ingredient here. You can see this is a china toilet. Mm -hmm. Very easy to clean, very much like a home toilet. You can see the bowl's a little bit bigger. Okay, and uh, this is uh, a mounting kit that uh, we can use. Right, right. you're going to need this with, when you replace most any toilet, except unless it's another Sealand toilet. Okay, and uh, what do we have here then? These are the bolts and then the gasket that goes down underneath. Okay, well, I guess we can't do it out here. We're going to have to go in that little room. We're going to go in the little room. It's going to be you, me, and Bose on camera in that little room. It's going to be a tight fit. Okay. Well, let's, let's go get there. this old toilet out. Okay, very good. Now I've got the water line, so we're just going to pull this right off. There you go. And I'll take that. If you want to take that and sure. it out of the way. Here's the old toilet right here. I'll keep it with me in the shower. You might need it. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> All right, now what are we looking at well, here? The next thing we're going to do, we're just going to discard the bolts that came with it. Okay, these are the old ones. I don't need those anymore. No, we're not going to need those. We're going to put down the new ones. Okay. Now, the, one of the problems that you may run into, we're going to have to modify this water line because it's obviously in a different location. So one of the things you also want to do is make sure you take off the old flange seal right because you don't, yeah, you, that'll interfere with the new flange seal. Okay, old flange is gone. Right. So Right now we're going to have to cut this water line and modify it a little bit to, to come out over on a different side. As you can see, I've put the water line in part of the way. Some of it's on the toilet. It's kind of a real tight fit here, so we're going to leave this like it is. Mm -hmm. Right now we're going to install this universal mounting kit. So this piece goes down here. One of the things you're going to need to do is put sealer under it, so you want to make sure this is dry. Now I'm going to put the sealer all around here. Don't be afraid to use plenty of it. Use plenty of sealer. Use plenty of it. There it is. Drive that down in there. Now let's, let me check this one more time to make sure we're still straight. Measure twice, cut once. That's right. <laughs> and we're upgrading from plastic to china and it feels good. Now this thing is, it is a little bit heavy and it's a little bit hard to get it on these bolts back here. This is all going to get covered up, so it's going to be real nice looking when it's done. You're mm -hmm. not going to see the water line or anything. Now, I've got a ratcheting wrench, which, of course, makes it a lot easier. Oh, that's handy. This is just a little cover, one of the final covers that goes on down here. Mm -hmm. This will cover the water line and whatnot. Oh, it makes it nice and neat. And there's actually a pedal cover also. As you can see, it comes with just a raw piece of steel. Right. So it's got to go on there, and then that covers, that finish trims that off real nice. Sure. And this is your water saver here that comes with, it's an option, so it doesn't come with all the models. Right. Very handy to have. I'd recommend it any time. Terrific. Well, I guess that's a wrap on this one. And did you want to model it, or maybe the customer should? Well, you know what? Maybe we have the customer come do that. <laughs> all right. Good job, Bill. <laughs> 